Class is almost out of session, but football is just heating up, and many players are getting their first taste of Tempe this spring. The Sun Devils have a talented roster equipped with an artillery of veterans, transfers, and freshmen. As the fight for spots on the depth chart starts to unfold, let's check out the Sun Devils' new arrivals that have made a good first impression. We'll start with the man who's been the talk of the town, Jaden Rashada. After an NIL deal reportedly worth over $13 million fell through at Florida, the four-star quarterback followed in his father's footsteps by signing with his alma mater, Arizona State. Since taking the field in the Valley of the Sun, Rashada has slowly gotten adjusted to Dillingham's high-paced practices. Despite the rapid changes in his life over the past few months, Rashada is finally settling in amongst the rest of the contenders for the ultra-coveted QB1 spot. But the quarterbacks might not even be the most competitive position in the backfield. ASU's running back room is also loaded with talent, headlined by Cal transfer to Carlos Brooks and Sacramento State transfer Cameron Scadaboo. The two backs have shown out in each of the Sun Devil scrimmages and team time, especially when it comes to catching balls out of the backfield. Both running backs take great pride in their ability to be both effective rushers and pass catchers, which has rubbed off on sophomore prospect Javen Jacobs, who has been making some noise of his own in the backfield after transitioning from wide receiver a couple of weeks ago. Jacobs' versatility and natural athleticism will be advantageous to Dillingham and his staff, who can incorporate him in empty sets and create mismatches against linebackers on passes out of the backfield. When in doubt, the Sun Devils are going to find a way to get these backs the football often. Moving away from the backfield and out near the sidelines, the Sun Devils have a large pool of highly talented receivers to choose from. Idaho State transfer Xavier Guillory and Texas transfer Troy O'Meary have been making their presence known in their short time at ASU, catching eyeballs throughout practice by showcasing their ability to make plays down the field. O'Meary especially got some extra attention in the Sun Devils' latest spring scrimmage, where he made a handful of impressive long ball catches. Guillory, on the other hand, has been a notable name since the first day he laced up the cleats for the Maroon and Gold, putting his speed and route running on full display in one-on-one -on -one matchups. The length and physicality of O'Meary complemented by Guillory's speed and route running will make these new targets an elite threat in the Sun Devils passing game. With the spring game just a little over a week away, make sure to be on the lookout for these new faces as they try to make their names known in Tempe and beyond.